Hi viewers, we are going to discuss about SAP ABAP keywords in this session. In this class, we are going to see how every stop return continue work in ABAP. So first, we are going to take about exit. The behavior of the keyword exit completely depend on where it is used. For example, if you are about to use exit in a loop, then it will exit the loop. But if you are using exit in a perform, then it will exit the perform. If you are using exit in a event, it will exit the event as well as the report. Let us see with some examples. In this example, you can see we have used exit in startup selection event. And also we have noted that it is not in between any loop or inside a perform. So by default, behavior exit will exit the report. And for this example, if there is no record selected in the table, it will exit the report without writing Kunar in the output. Next, we are about to discuss about stop. Stop is used to stop the further execution of an event block. For example, if we have two events, startup selection and end up selection and we have used stop in startup selection then the control will automatically moves to the end of selection irrespective of the coding which we have written next to the stop command for example if we have this code in startup selection we are writing a and b and end of selection we are writing c we have placed the start command stop command in between the Right A and right B. So while executing, the output will be written with A, and next it will go to the stop. And by default, the logic behind the stop will be neglected, and the control moves to the next event, which is end of select. So we will get the output with C. The B will not be written here due to the functionality of the stop and we have another example for stop and this we have only one event which have right a and b and the stop is in between the right a and b by default output will write a and after executing stop it will search for the next available event if no further event exit it will exit the report and next we are about to check return return is used to end the processing of the current block for example if return is used inside a loop it will exit the loop if it is used in any event then it will exit the program for example if we have return in the start of selection event with write a and b and we have write c return and end of selection Unlike stop, it will not move to the end of selection after execution of the return. Here, we get the output with A by default. And after execution of the return, it will exit the report completely. And next, we are about to check continue. Continue is used to skip the execution of the lines next to the statement. For example, if we have a loop at the numbers table and we have a set of numbers from 1 to 5 in this table and we have a continue statement with the if condition checking 2. So the output will return in below format. For example, if the loop starts with 1 and 1 is not equal to 2, so it will write the number in the output. And next will be the 2 which is equal to 2 and while executing the continue it will skip the logic next to it and move to the start of the loop so and the next number will be 3 with the, which will exit the loop sorry which will write the output because at the if set matter and then it will move to the next number and will print 4 and 5 respectively because the condition will not we become false and that's all for the continuum and uh, thank you